Ready to unlock the ultimate secret to breathtaking drone footage? Get ready to soar to new heights as we unveil the game-changing tool that's revolutionizing the way you capture and create stunning cinematic aerial videos. Have you ever watched those mesmerizing no-drone footage shots in documentaries, travel vlogs and filmmaking, landscape videography, or explainer videos and thought you'd need a high-end, expensive drone to achieve the same results? Ever noticed those stunning aerial shots of football and rugby stadiums right as the big matches kick off? Now, what if I told you that you could achieve similar cinematic shots, no matter where you are or which country you're in, and do it all for free? Yes, you heard right, for free and that is best budget filmmaking. So, let's dive into the full Google Earth Studio tutorial video. Here's what you need to do. Open your web browser and type in Google Earth Studio to navigate to the main page of Google Earth Studio. It's a simple process. Once you're there, you'll be prompted to preview the tool. Make sure to carefully read and accept the terms and conditions to proceed. After you click the Accept button, you'll gain access to a suite of powerful features designed to help you create cinematic quality drone shots. How to use Google Earth Studio Once you're logged into Google Earth Studio, you'll notice two main options on the screen, Blank Project and Open Project. To get started quickly and easily, you'll want to click on the Blank Project option. This allows you to create a completely new project from scratch, giving you the freedom to design your video exactly how you envision it. After selecting Blank Project, you'll see the Quick Start button. Go ahead and click on it. This is your gateway to unlocking the full potential of Google Earth Studio animation. Once you click on Quick Start in Google Earth Studio, you'll enter a user-friendly interface filled with a variety of templates. These are not just placeholders, each template is a gateway to different styles and types of videos that you can create using this powerful tool. As you hover your mouse over each template, you'll notice that a preview automatically plays, giving you a clear glimpse of what your final video could look like. In this camera movement tutorial, we're going to dive deep into the capabilities of Google Earth Studio, showcasing some of the most dynamic and visually striking templates available. Among the options, you'll find Zoom to Orbit, Point to Point, Spiral Video, and my personal favorite, the Fly to Orbit template. To get started for simple editing in Google Earth Studio, select the Fly to Orbit template from the options available. Upon clicking, you'll notice that a new window has appeared. Here, you can view detailed information, and just below, there's a search bar available. You can use the zoom function to precisely select the area you wish to feature in your drone video. Continue to zoom in until you find the exact location on the map. Alternatively, if you prefer a simpler method, there is another option available. Additionally, in the search bar below, simply enter the name of the location and it will automatically be pinpointed on the map for you. For tutorial purposes, let's take the Statue of Liberty, a renowned monument in New York, as an example. Simply enter Statue of Liberty in the search bar you'll see that it automatically locates the monument. Zoom in slightly for a clearer view, and there you have it, this is the Statue of Liberty. Once you've located it, click on the next option to view the drone shot that has been generated of the Statue of Liberty. Next, we'll adjust additional settings to enhance your video further. Below, you'll find several options including in altitude, orbit radius, target altitude, and approach angle. You can customize each of these settings according to your preferences to achieve the best results for your video. For instance, adjusting the in altitude impacts how close or far your drone is from the main object. Lowering the altitude brings the drone closer, providing a more detailed view of your subject. Increasing it expands your view, allowing for broader, more scenic shots, including expansive sky views if desired. In terms of the orbit radius, increasing this value will bring the drone closer to the object, enhancing the details and intimacy of the footage. Conversely, decreasing it will position the drone further away, offering a wider perspective of the surroundings. The next setting, target altitude, tends not to be as critical for most users, so you may choose to leave it unchanged if it doesn't serve your specific needs. Following this, you'll find the Approach Angle option, where you can select the degree of rotation for your drone shot either 180 degrees or a full 360 degree panoramic view. If you choose a 360 degree angle, the drone will capture a complete circular view of the object. If you want the rotation to be clockwise, select this option, otherwise, you can skip it. This decision is entirely up to your preference. 
Simply click on Next, and you will then have the opportunity to set the duration of your video. Options include 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, or even 120 seconds. Choose the length that best suits your project, click Next again, and you will be taken to the timeline window. Here, you can see and manage all aspects of your video. You can access detailed customization settings by first clicking on the Change Viewport Layout. This option is represented by a small icon located at the bottom right of the screen. Select the second option, and a new map window will open, displaying a real-time directional map and camera orientation. The red triangle in this window represents the camera's focus, while the small white and red circle denotes your main object, in this case, the Statue of Liberty. You have the flexibility to adjust the camera's focus to better position the Statue of Liberty within your shot. For instance, if you prefer the camera to focus on a point slightly further from the main object, you can easily drag the focus point to the desired location. Ensure that the camera's focus stays within the designated circle and adjust as necessary to align with your specific requirements. From the viewpoint options, you have the flexibility to change the focus point as well. Simply pick up and move the white and red box to the new location where you want the camera to focus. The camera will automatically adjust to this new point, allowing you to creatively utilize these adjustments to enhance your video. To ensure the video captures the best possible view, I've made several adjustments. Now, let's take a look at how this video appears with these changes. Not only does it provide a detailed view of our main subject, but it also offers a panoramic glimpse of the New York skyline, thanks to the 360-degree view option. If you've made a selection, you can adjust all the camera settings, including angle and focus points, right here. Before we proceed to the next important setting, I'd like to share some exciting news. Recently, I have begun a series on faceless or cash cow channel ideas. I have created numerous videos covering everything from beginner to advanced levels, focusing on creation techniques and earning methods, and revealing less competitive niches that are particularly well suited for platforms like TikTok and YouTube automation. At the end of this video, you'll see an i button which will lead you to more related content. You can also find links to all the videos in the playlist in the video description below. I'm eager to hear from you as well. Please share your thoughts in the comments about which topics you would like me to cover in future videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Now, let's return to our tutorial. You'll find more resources in the video description. Moving forward, the next feature available is Add Attributes. Within this menu, you'll encounter multiple customizable options. Initially, you may see the camera target option, which you can choose to modify or leave as is. Next, select the field of view option to adjust how wide the camera lens should capture the scene. Following this, choose the time of day setting to simulate different lighting conditions depending on the chosen time. If you desire clouds in your scene, activate the cloud option. Additionally, if your scene includes a view of the ocean, you should select the Ocean Overlay option to enhance the visual effect. Once you've made all your selections, simply click Done to apply these settings. Once you click Done, all the settings you've adjusted will be displayed here, ready for further customization if needed. You can preview these changes by experimenting with different times of day to find the look that best suits your vision. Whether it's a bright daytime view, a golden evening sunset, or a mysterious night scene, select the option that aligns with your creative goals. Now that all these settings are in place, let's switch to full screen mode. Let's play the video and see how it looks. So yes, guys, it's simply amazing. Imagine anyone watching this video will think it's a high-budget drone production. But what's the secret behind it? Well, that's just between us. Before you export your video, take a moment to customize all the available options in the project settings. To access these, go to the file option located at the top of the interface. Here, you can opt to enhance your video by selecting a 4K resolution. While the other settings typically don't need adjustments, you have the option to select between 30 or 60 frames per second for your video's frame rate. If you are exporting in 4K, using 60 frames per second might be beneficial, although I've set mine to 30 frames per second. Next, make sure to enable key existing keyframes to new duration. This will ensure any keyframes adapt to any changes in the video length. Once all settings are confirmed as OK, 
you're ready to export and download your video. Simply click on Render. Typically, rendering takes between 5 to 10 minutes, after which you will receive an email notification with a link to download your video. You might notice a Google Earth watermark at the bottom of the video. To remove this, simply go to Canva and use the Canva Magic Eraser tool, which will effectively hide the watermark. With this capability, you're now ready to create drone-style videos of any place or city you desire. I hope you all find this tool and the tutorial useful. Alright, friends, that brings us to the end of our video on creating stunning drone videos with this new free tool. Before we wrap up, I'd love to hear about your experiences using Google Earth Studio to create simulated drone videos. Please share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing your creative videos. If you're curious about how she made $31,235 with TikTok Creativity Program Best Niche for YouTube and TikTok click on the video link on the left. If you're interested in discovering a new viral niche for YouTube and TikTok Best Faceless TikTok YouTube Channel Ideas for Automation click on the video link on the right. Thank you for being part of this journey. Happy Learnify AI Goodbye.